Over the past few months, I've seen a lot of videos online claiming that Teslas have really high levels of radiation. Never ever buy an electric car, it's like sitting in the microwave. Including this one video on Instagram that has over 70 million views, claiming that she needed to detox from her Tesla and sell it because of the adverse health effects it was having on her and her family. So today, we're actually gonna put that to the test in a few different ways. So I purchased this EMF reader online recently, and I will preface this by saying that this is something that Paige and I take somewhat seriously. This video isn't about that. I'm not gonna get into that whole rabbit hole. I just want to do some testing using this device and see what sort of results we get. So first things first, let's check the microwave as that seems to be what everyone's telling us in the comments that we're driving. Okay, so you can see the microwave is reading at the maximum, so we know that this thing is working. The other one that's interesting is the induction cooktop, which surprised me, but that does have also a maximum reading. So if we're following these guidelines, ideally we want the Tesla to be green, not red. Okay, so we're in the Tesla. It's in park, but on and running. And you can see our little reader is just showing that it's completely normal and fine right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the car in drive and still no change. So I've just taken the car for a drive and I can confirm that it stayed on one green light when I was accelerating, when I was decelerating using regen braking. But every now and then I was getting a spike of red flashing lights until I pulled over and I realized it was actually the wireless phone charger and my iPhone charging on there. As soon as I took that off the charger and put the phone on airplane mode, it eliminated all the EMF readings coming through. But where I think things might start to get interesting is once we plug it into charge. So the only area of concern so far seems to be when the car is charging. If that's something that you care about, I would recommend getting out of the car, going for a walk when you're supercharging. Yesterday, I did get a chance to just confirm that supercharging is giving us the same high reading. It definitely was. We've actually always made the effort since our early Model 3 days to not be in the car while it's charging purely for this reason, especially now with our daughter being in the back seat. But everyone is gonna feel different about this, totally up to you and how you feel about it. And we actually turn our Wi-Fi off at night. So we're people that care about this sort of thing, yet we still choose to drive a Tesla every day. And I think what we're seeing play out at the moment on social media and in the media itself is any reason at all to hate on electric cars and try to stop the momentum that they've got. But excluding the charging, the only high reading I could get while I was driving the car was from my iPhone, not the Tesla itself. Yet people are selling their Teslas or not buying Teslas in the first place and opting for a petrol car when we know for a fact that petrol fumes are terrible for our health. And you'll find that out very quickly if you're standing in a garage with an electric car versus a petrol car that's running. We all know this, but there's just so much fear and misinformation circling around EVs at the moment. I would recommend all of those people that are concerned, buy your own readers, do your own research, do your own tests, and what you'll find is excluding the charging, which is easy to avoid being in the car for, the Tesla should read no different than a petrol car. Now this is obviously a very basic test. There's probably much more specialist type of equipment you can get than something like this. And so it was just interesting going around the house and seeing things like the phone chargers, the Wi-Fi router, the floor heating in the bathroom, and even the solar setup that we've got in the garage, all giving maximum readings and then getting into the Model Y and getting nothing. I did notice that having the heated steering wheel on would increase the reading. Not so much the heated seats, more just the steering wheel. But when I was doing 110 kilometers an hour on the freeway, it was still showing green in the front seat and the back seat. So yeah, bit of a different video than I normally would, but I felt like I needed to address this given how much attention it's getting online. It feels like every day I'm getting a comment on TikTok to say that we're driving a microwave and that we're getting fried. So for our own sake, we wanted to just get an understanding of like if the readings were off the charts, they don't appear to be, given that the Model Y is one of the safest cars ever tested. This is what I will continue to put my family in and feel really good about it. So anyway, hope you found this video interesting. I'll catch you soon in another one.